morning everyone it's Julesy here from Julesy Designs and JT Creations so just a quickie um, it's something I saw on Ruby and Pearl by Heather and it was um, envelopes and decorating envelopes but leaving them open and what she did was she covered these bits Heather sorry and this bit she had on the back and I thought it was quite quite good um, but what I want to do is I want to do a little bit different so I want the two the bottom and the top flap on the back and the two side flaps on the front so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make it but I am going to do it with this orange one um, because I'm in the middle of doing my autumn journal um, and I thought the orange it was a, a, a card I got from from America they've got some quite snazzy <laughs> coloured envelopes over there um, so I'm going to do it with this one I've got some wallpaper type um, digitals so what I shall do is I'm going to cover these flaps And what she had, what um, Heather had, was she had that little bit there and then that was a pocket. Um, but what I want to do is I want to do them two on there. So um, I'm looking for... Etsy but it will be um, so that one go. No, I want more of a plain one. Oh that's part of my vintage days. I love to mask and it, it's a kit that's just quite um, muted so that you can use it on any kind of um, project so let me have a look against this that's actually the one that I did on the back we're going to use that one Now you, you can cover them, um, I, I will, I uh, think, yeah I can do that, so it's not using, it's, that's two A4 sheets of paper I think I've used, which is, um, quite good I mean if you've got loads of um, 12 by 12 scrapbook pads which I have and I've not used uh, they would be ideal to use as well I need to start using them otherwise I'm just going to keep this great big huge pile comes up to my waist I think oh, that isn't um, Never mind, we will do something with that.
these little bits up. Sorry about that. Um, just ripping this and I'll just run it along the glue We better cut this one off as well, hadn't we? Little bin. I've got a little bin and I never use it. It just it ends up with brushes and things like that. Just recreasing that and little ones in, and I'm just I'm just guesstimating it. <laughs> um I think I'll put white ones in and let me change. Oh, it is on the smaller one. I must have been using the small ones the last time. And that's a silver one. I'll just use a white one again in this one. I've had this crocodile for years. I bought it four years ago from QVC. Hardly ever used it until I started journaling and now it's out all the time. Right, so we want some nice ribbon for that. I don't know whether to put string or ribbon. I'm going to use these bits and pieces. Um, I think that's maybe a bit too... Right, we've got two bits of this. Hey, that was a bow that I was... Alright, I maybe should have used the, <coughs> the bigger ones. I'm just using a um, it's a pen you know those like the coloured pens but instead of it having ink in it's got um, like embossing um, tools that's the biggest one and then that is like a proper pokey tool um, I got it when I was doing demos for Dew Crafts. Um, so it's a, it's an X cut. You can still get them on Amazon. I know the last time I used it, a lot of people were like, where did you get your, your pen? <laughs>
I will fast forward this. You're not seeing me struggle with ribbon. Right, I'll just tie a little knot in the, the bottom. Um, note to oneself, remember not to squash the brads when you're threading ribbon, especially on video. <laughs> oh, dearie me. If it's going to happen, it'll happen when you're videoing it. But that's the, the world of YouTube. I was talking to my um, my daughter's third son, he's 13, and he thinks it's quite cool that his granny's a YouTuber. Hi, that's me back, right. Okay, so um, that was my husband and then um, my cleaner um, called uh, because obviously we're going to be away, so she's coming in so I'm, i managed to get the um the ribbon in so not a very long ribbon i might change it and put a long ribbon in so i tied that and then i put um the string because i quite like the string and tied it like that and then it looks nice so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some little pockets in in these oh don't get yourself in a knot Julie otherwise you'll end up cutting these off and putting but that might be an idea actually I might actually give myself um and put bigger grommets in so what i want to do is i want to put a pocket along there and i think i'll use that Do I want the, the lighter? Yeah, I think I'll have the lighter colour. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of kits coming out. I've got my autumn kit. And I've done it with um, sort of like a tanny brown, orangey, pumpkin coloured tartan. Um, I designed a tartan. I've not done so many pumpkins this time as I mean I've got my autumn bliss last year that was very very busy it had foxes lots of pumpkins lots of leaves um and everything lots of colors but this one I've kind of just kept to um the the pumpkin colors yellows uh deep like a deep orangey pinky red I've done a tart and I've put a couple of things on it. Uh, done some lined papers. Um, but I thought, well, I'll just keep it muted. Because um, a lot of people like to add their own stuff in. And it will go on sale on my Etsy shop um, after the 12th of September. So we've got that. Now, what have I got to go in? I'll put that. Um looking for things to put in we'll use i'll put one of these in a little tag so and then what will we do with this one 
so if the pocket's there the pocket needs to be on there here I've got some more paper bag don't think that goes with it no it doesn't um, Right. right, this is part of my autumn kit, so I think I'm just going, as I say, it's just the tartans, the colours, I'm giving you a sneak, sneaky peek, um, so I think I'll, I think I'll do a little tartan pocket in there. Mm -hmm. In fact, we'll use the one with the toadstools on. There's another tartan page with them. Um, I think it's got leaves on it. But I quite like the tartan, and it always looks nice and warm and wintry. Sort of like hot chocolate and sweater weather. look at that I should have put that there yeah what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make I'm just taking them in a bit This is just um, glitter glue decanted into a, I lost the nozzle on my, um, my fine nozzle on my art glitter glue. I've got another one somewhere but I can't find it. Um, so I had some of these bottles, I've got them from AliExpress. Um, to be quite honest, I think the art glitter glue, I think with the weather being warm and everything, the art glitter glue has gone a bit gloopy. That's better. And then just took that in there. And as I say, you can cover them as well. So what have we got to go in here? Let me have a look. Um, this is like my half half done stuff oh I've got my my love letters this is another kit that's coming out so we'll put my love letters in there not really love letters they're just and you can put the string underneath And tie that and then oops I've curled that off a bit I think maybe I will leave them There we are. So there's a nice, nice little loaded um, envelope. It'll look nice in your journal. You can make it with 
any size envelope um i mean you can even make your own you, you know you just sort of like measure the the size of of your paper and then you know it, it doesn't have to fold up like an envelope do your triangles um and then fold it up yourself you can you know make smaller ones but you will see some of these um in my autumn journal and in future journals and as i say i will put the link to um heather at ruby and pearl um for her video and you can see what she did she ripped all hers and it was nice um obviously i'm not great at ripping i should have had my tear roller so thank you for watching if you enjoyed what you you know if you enjoyed the video please subscribe um and i'll see you in the next video bye